السلام علیکم فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل فہد ریئیکشن دس از فہد احمد تو دوستو کیسے ہیں آپ سب مجھے امید ہے آپ سب خیر خیریت سے ہوں گے اور آپ کرونا وائرس سے بچ کے اپنے گھروں میں آرام کر رہے ہوں گے تو دوستو ہم بھی اپنے گھر میں آرام ہی کر رہے ہیں تو دوستو آج کی جو ویڈیو ہے وہ ایک ریکویسٹڈ ویڈیو ہے ہم مجھے کسی نے کمنٹ میں یہ ویڈیو کا لنک دیا تھا کہ آپ اس پر ضرور ریئیکشن دیں آج کی جو ویڈیو ہے وہ بنگلہ دیش کے اوپر ہے تو دوستو ویڈیو کا جو ٹائٹل ہے وہ ہے بلڈی اسٹریٹس بنگلہ دیش فیس چٹا گونگ میزبان سیلیبریشن اب مجھے اس ایونٹ کے بارے میں نہیں پتا کہ میزبان سیلیبریشن کیا ہے تو آپ مجھے کمنٹ کر کے ضرور بتائیے گا کہ میزبان سیلیبریشنس کیا ہیں تو دوستو اگر آپ نے اب تک میرا چینل سبسکرائب نہیں کیا تو کائنڈلی میرا چینل سبسکرائب کر لیں اور مجھے انسٹاگرام پر بھی فالو کر لیں اگر آپ آپ کو یہاں پہ انسٹاگرام کا جو ہے وہ آئی ڈی میں لکھی ہوئی مل رہی ہوگی تو آپ مجھے انسٹاگرام پہ بھی فالو کر لیں تو دوستو ود آؤٹ ویسٹنگ اینی ٹائم لیٹ اسٹارٹ آور ویڈیو ون ٹو تھری لیٹ اسٹارٹ آور ویڈیو We have got the cow and all. It's going to be slaughtered. Then we uh, start the cooking part. So, like, How do you have space for that many people? Uh, it's going to be in the field. The purpose is to celebrate a death anniversary. Yes. The idea is to feed your family, oh. your friends, but also less fortunate people. Yes. Yeah. Let's check it death out. Throughout Bali, Asia, Indonesia. death anniversaries are common practice. Family members gather to pray, pay respect, and eat. In Chittagong, yeah, this coming yeah, together yeah, of yeah, can take the form of a mezban. But our is not a mezban. The mezban is a celebration centered around food. The event worth celebrating can be just about anything, from the naming of a newborn to the purchase of a new home. Today's food mm -hmm. will yeah, take place in the yeah, rented yeah, kitchen like of an event center, inka. a place where thousands of mezbans have been prepared before. But a proper mezban requires certain cooking skills. You need Bengal. the appropriate people to do the job. A butcher to slice and dice the beef. Someone to peel the vegetables and pound and grind the spices. Then leading this brigade, you need a captain, a head chef in charge of ensuring these hundreds of pounds of beef will be cooked on time and at the same time for tonight's family feast. <laughs> The cow has just been slaughtered. I'm just curious, with the mezban, what is the significance of the cow in Bangladesh? Slaughtering the cow is a significance because we do it on special occasions like mezban and, and Eid. We have a occasion, it's called Eid al Azha. Eid al Azha. Every family slaughter yeah. at least uh, one animal. It's either a sheep or a goat or a cow. Would the cow, cow. be the most meaningful? It's the most popular one. Yes, or it's very camel expensive. Bhi yeah. Most people cannot afford that. Right. It's about giving. Okay, it's about sacrifice. What we do, we slaughter the meat. One third of the meat. We keep to ourselves. The other one third we give to our relatives, and the last one third we distribute to the poor people. Oh man, street dogs, red and yellow. Every time we have a party, we have a party. 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 We
Yeah, okay. Oh, garam gosto da Israelia. Five to six more hours while they work. I've been invited to visit the grave of the man being honored today. Boom! What are we doing? Basically, I stopped here to show you the gate. Is this like a public advertisement? Yes. Does it have an address on here? Yes, the address and the person's name and the date. So the public, anybody walking around can yeah. see this and attend yeah. and get yes. some food. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. It's yeah. like the yeah. next level. Yeah. Yeah. You can see yeah. it's written in the memory of Professor Allama Muhammad Jalaluddin Muhammad Qadri Rahmatullah. The deceased was an important figure in Chittagong and Bangladesh, yeah. Yeah. both yeah. as the dean yeah. of the university yeah. and yeah. as a religious yeah. leader known in many parts of the world. So oh. today's mezban is for him. These days, his children, students, and followers pay respect to him by organizing and attending the Mezban in his name. How long has it been since his death? Third, third year. And do you do it for three years or how many years? Forever? Forever, yes. Oh, wow. How many Mezbans do you attend a year? Every month we get one or two invitations. So you can't make all of them? No, you can't go to all of them? them. No. We have come to the graveyard of our uh, beloved Huzur, who is lying here. Mm. This is the main grave, and then the, it's the Huzur's parents. So each plot here is a, a grave. Uh, it's their family graveyard. Jilani so family. The city. To actually pull this off, you need to be privileged enough to actually own a piece of land where you can have a family graveyard. Right. Very expensive. Are you going to pray? Yeah. We'll have a, offer a prayer. Salatan tunajina biha min jamia la fuale wala fat, a takdila na biha jamia la hajat, a tatahena biha min jamia sayat, illa law Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just across the street from here, the university founded by the man we honor today, the same place where thousands will gather tomorrow on campus and beyond. We are in the field next to our house. Here will be the main program for the 7,000 people. But uh, 7, we will have another people. one at our home. There will be a, approximately <coughs> 500 family members and close friends. And here will be for mass. Due to a delay in the Mezban schedule, I'm going to miss the huge event. But we'll be able to make tonight's family feast. Right now, they're only about halfway through building the structure. So by tomorrow, this whole thing's going to be covered. Yes. And inside, it's just going to be packed with people. Yes, there will be carpets, lights, fans, and tables and chairs. So 7,000 people will be having meal here. Incredible. Okay, yaar, 7,000 log. For itne logon ka khana pakane ke liye kitna beef chahiye hoga. Back in the kitchen, cooking is still underway. The butcher has portioned the entire cow. Chuck, brisket, round. It all gets cut into bite-sized pieces. Mixed together for a dish known simply as mezbani beef. Mezbani beef. The beef is added to a large steel pot known as a dekchi, the usual go-to for large-scale cooking in Bangladesh. The chef adds turmeric, chili powder, cinnamon, minced garlic, almond paste, cumin paste, and this. Talk about layering flavors, and he's just getting started. Onions, top that with mustard oil, salt, then soybean oil, which he used to fry the onions. Add those in too. Finally, green chilies and water. Big chunks of bottle gourd, a lighter variety of mezbani beef. Last, a special cameo, Nihari, a stew cooked with tons of spices, beef bones, bone marrow, and rice. All the pots are moved over the fire for hours of cooking. At last, the food is complete. There's yeah, enough here to make hundreds, it, steaming hot, ready to go, awaiting just one crucial final step, a few drops of holy water and a prayer. <laughs> Now we can finally sample the fruits of today's difficult labor. Right now, we're actually on the transportation vehicle because we want to get a taste before the yeah. It looks stunning. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Super hot. It's incredible. That whole cow fit into two of those deck cheese. When you saw it walk in here, did you think it would fit into basically a pot? And a I thought we'd need a few deck cheese. Right. I'm gonna go just a little piece of beef, no rice. For the final meat. Wow, the beef, it's stunning. It falls apart in your mouth. The fat has just completely rendered down. It's super juicy and tender, and when you like bite in, it's like a burst of flavor. Spices, everything, that mashala, oh man. And then here I got some other sauce, the gravy. Oh, it's so hot. I don't know how you do this. Are your fingertips burning? Yeah, but oh, yeah, no, just to. mix it. Mix it like this. Get a chunk of meat in there. Make a ball, make a ball. Yeah. Make right, a ball. I got a little ball. Put it in your mouth. Exactly. Mm. Oh my God, every part of this is stunning. The Mezbani beef confirmed <laughs> amazing, but all this food still needs to make its way to the home where the Mezbani will take place. Mezbani beef. Transporting these giant pots is already hard enough, but getting through the city's traffic will be a miracle in itself. यार हर ट्रेडिशन जो है ना वो अपने आप में एक बहुत अच्छा ट्रेडिशन है भाई बहुत मेहनत लगी है इस पे बनाने में अब दिस मेजबान इज अ डे फुल ऑफ फॉर्मेलिटीज एंड ट्रेडिशन प्रेयर बिफोर द स्लॉटर प्रेयर बिफोर द फूड कैन बी सर्व्ड and within a private room of this house a tradition I'll witness for the first time Quran khani kar rahe hain before dinner begins the Quran is read from beginning to end the entire central religious text of Islam all in Arabic sections of the holy book are divided among dozens of men still the task itself takes hours hours I can say he seems like a humble man who also happens to be a Bangladeshi billionaire. Finally, it's time to eat. Guests are brought to the tables in shifts. The elders eat first, then it's us. Dish after dish is portioned and quickly served to everyone in the dining room. Yeah, meal bound ke hi hai khushiyan. We serve the food to the special guests. Oh, am I a special guest? Yes, of yeah. course. This is incredible. Thank you so much. We usually start with the vegetable one. Ah, okay. Oh, that looks great. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Mm, very tasty. Oh, ma'am, for being a vegetable. Yeah. That's a good vegetable. My gosh. Oh. So it's not very spicy for you? That's why I see it all. It's perfect. I don't know. It's like heavy and light at the same time. Yeah. And the combination, it's kind of different. Like you get puff, like the lentils and the gourd, they all just go together. I love that. I want to jump into this right here. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah, sure. This is a nihari. Oh my gosh, that's a tremendous piece. I'm eating like a king tonight. Right, listen, first of all, this, the shank meat, it is so tender. It's just been rendered down so soft. It's like fatty, gelatinous cartilage around the leg and then a bit of protein on there too. Oh, Mazadar. This is really incredible. This is the main event right here. I heard you could just... Yeah, yeah. yeah see, it's coming out. Wait, is yeah. it coming out? Mick. Mick is coming out. Yeah, you just hit it on the oh. plate. Was that it? Now suck it. Legit, you have to suck it. <laughs> it's empty. No, you have to do it like pro, you like know, us. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Nahi I hai. can get another one for you. Don't worry about it. All good. I wanted to ask you some other questions. Yes, please. I'm curious. What are some misconceptions about Bangladesh that just drive you insane? First of all, uh, people think that we are very poor, and since we are Muslim majority, people think that we we are terrorists. That would drive me insane yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, I can say I've been now to koi many Muslim countries, Muslim and I found country the hospitality in all of them to be outstanding. Well beyond anywhere else I've been in the world. If you ah, study Islam, media one of the best things you can do is being a host. We don't turn away people who come to us. That's why I recommended you in the last episode. 
Artıkal Gazi Vala. The Mezban tradition highlights the best values you'll find in this country. It's the bomb. Providing for others. We distribute it to the poor people. Patience, community, and hospitality. I am not Muslim, I am not Bangladeshi, but still, I'm invited with open arms to sit shoulder to shoulder with my Bangladeshi mm, brothers Muslim and eat my heart's content. Hai. That is Mezban. And finally, I want to give a huge thank to Muhammad Rehan Hussain, Hussain Aswar, and Abu Sahih Rehmat for all of their help in making this video happen. So friends, this is the video. I hope you will like this video. You will have seen the whole video with me. And I also like this video. And I have told you about a tradition of Bangladesh, Mezban. के बारे में जो कि स्पेशली जो है वो चिटागोंग में ही होता है मुझे तो ये बहुत ही अच्छा लगा कि जिसमें सबको बुलाया जाता है कोई भी आ सकता है बकायदा उसकी एडवर्टाइजमेंट की जाती है डेट लिखी जाती है और उस डेट को कोई भी वहां आ सकता है तो ये बहुत ही अच्छा एक ट्रेडिशन है मुझे तो बहुत पसंद आया तो दोस्तों अगर आपको भी ये वीडियो पसंद आई हो तो मुझे ज़रूर कमेंट करके बताइएगा और मेरी वीडियो को लाइक कर दीजिएगा और इस वीडियो को शेयर भी ज़रूर करिएगा अपने सर्किट में और मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिएगा अगर आपने अब तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो तो दोस्तों मिलते हैं आपसे अगली वीडियो में तब तक के लिए अल्लाह हाफिज़